Hey guys, Mike here at Amish Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. All right, so today we're going to do a request for Susan. And Susan is from Texas and she asked me to model a Texas barn star. Okay. All right, here we go. We're going to take a simple polygon cylinder. We're going to pull that out in a grid. Let's give that some height. We're going to go to poly cylinder one and we're going to set our translate values to zero to get it nice and centered. Then we're going to go to our poly cylinder one tab and we're going to change the subdivisions to 10. That's kind of important. Okay. Then we're going to switch to our side view. We're going to right click, go to face, drag select all of these faces and hit delete. So we just have this top section left. All right. We're going to switch to our top view. We're going to right click go to object mode and we're going to hit E and we're going to rotate it until one of the green lines is aligned with our vertical grid line, like so. Okay. Then we're going to right click at our vertex. We're going to take these two vertices, skip one at both sides and take this one down here. Okay. We're going to hit R to scale in and let's bring that into the shape of a star. Okay. And then we're going to go in and we're going to take the center the vertex, hit W and bring that up. Okay. Now I want the uh, weld lines, if you will, to be very distinct once this is textured. So we're going to right click and we're going to go to edge and I'm going to take the raised lines here. And I'm actually thinking of doing these as well. Yeah, we'll do those and one more and we'll go to edit mesh and bevel. Now this bevel size is way too big. So we're going to bring that fraction down to, let's see, 0 0.1. That's even too much still. 0 0.02. That's better. Okay. So that's our basic shape. Now what we're going to do next is we are going to texture this guy. So we're going to right click at object mode, go to UV. We'll do an automatic projection. And then we're going to go to UV and UV editor and see what we got. It looks very clean. We don't have to do anything. Perfect. Okay. So what's next? Now, if we apply one general material, then that would kind of simulate a star being made out of one sheet of metal. And that's not exactly what we want. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to right click, go to face, and I'm just going to take these two faces, hit shift period, oops, go back once, control Z. So we've got that section, and then we're going to right click, assign new material, we'll do a Lambert, and we'll go in and hit the checkered box, select file folder and on my desktop I have this rust texture that I want to use and we're going to hit our checkered ball so it's applied okay here we go so that's one I'll just uh, pause the video and do this one this one that one and that one and I'll be right back all right so we have these materials applied and the whole point of this is once we texture this and you can already see a little bit, you can still see these distinct lines going on and you can see uh, some variation in the material. Okay. Now, although this has a russet texture, if we create a light and I'll just go to create lights and point light and I'll hit seven on my keyboard so you can see it. If we bring this in and I'll magnify the intensity of the light here, you can kind of see that the surface is still very flat. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a bump map to that. Okay. So um, in Photoshop, I'll just open that up. I'm going to go to file open on my desktop I'm going to search for my rust file here we go and I'll go into image adjustments 
and I want this to change to black and white. Okay. Now, black and white is good, but I want a high contrast because the black and white is obviously used in the bump map. Okay. So next, I'm going to go to auto contrast, and this is already much better. So we're going to go and file, save as, and I did a test for this, so I'll just have to overwrite the file that I have. There we go. So now we have a bump map. I'm going to go back and I'm going to select these. Uh, actually, I can select the entire object and I'm going to go. Let's see. Can I do that? Or can I not do that? Yes, I can apply this to Lambert 2 because that's the material that I applied. So I'm going to go to bump mapping, hit my checkered uh, block here, go to file, then go into file here select that and select my rust bump map there we go now this is way too much as you can see so we're going to go back to our bump and we're going to bring the bump depth way back to let's try this 0.15 it's maybe still a bit much 0.05 that's a little bit better 0.09 okay we'll go with that all right, so not too bad. Let's select this whole thing, go to edit, delete by type history, modify and freeze transformation. And we're gonna hit E and we're gonna rotate this guy just a little so we can set it on our grid. Hit W, pull that up like so. Just find a nice angle here. I'll just take my light source and put it over there. There we go. So that seems like a good angle. We're gonna create a ground plane for this guy. Let's set that to zero to get it centered. We're gonna right click at edge at the back here. Edit mesh extrude. And then we'll pull that up and then we'll take that edge and go to edit mesh and bevel. We'll increase segments to 10. That looks fine. Okay. And we'll right click, go to object mode and apply a material to our plane. So right click, assign a material. Let's do a Fong E. And let's make that white. Okay. We're gonna set up some lighting. So I'm gonna take this guy and delete it. We're gonna to go to create lights, area light. And we're gonna pull that up and pull that back. And I'm gonna take my control and aim that towards my star. And if you don't have that control, hit T on your keyboard. So I'm gonna move this over in this direction at roughly 45 degrees. And because of the way my grid is set up, I'm gonna choose a fairly high intensity. Uh, if you have yours set to centimeters, you would probably have to do way less, something like one or so, okay? I'll even go higher than that, let's see. Maybe even higher. Okay, that's not bad. I'm gonna hit Control D to duplicate. And I'm not gonna pull it all the way over because I wanna see the shade effect on the star itself. I'm gonna bring this one down just a little bit. And we'll do that one at 10, maybe even less, eight. Okay, so that's not bad. And then we'll hit Control D to duplicate. We'll push one to the back here, bring that in and down, and we'll do even less. Let's do four, okay? Okay, let's check our render settings. First, I'm gonna look for a nice angle. So we're gonna set up our, uh, what's that thing called nowadays? Our film gate. I'm gonna select my plane and hit R and push it out so my entire scene is filled. 
And now we're going to get into our render settings. Okay. So let's do that. I'm going to open that up. I'm going to switch to mental ray, obviously. And in my common tab, I'm going to scroll way down to my render options and disable default light. I'm going to go up here and change my image size to HD 1080. This looks all good. Quality settings. 1.5 roughly on overall quality. Lighting quality one is good. I'm going to leave all that. In my scene, I'm going to create image-based lighting. So let's select that. And then I'm going to select an HDR image for this. Select my folder, go to Maya HDRI, and I'm going to use that one. And let's get a little closer. Uh, okay. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to do a test render, and I'll see you guys in a sec. Well, guys, I aborted that render um, because I'm not 100% pleased with it. And the reason is that this second light right here is taking away shadows that I really want to keep. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one, increase the intensity to 30 and take that one and decrease that to five and I'm just going to hit W and I'm going to move that over just a bit. Okay. And then I'm going to find a slightly different angle. Maybe, maybe like that. I don't want to see that light in the back too much. Okay. So I'm kind of moving away from the, uh, the bookmark that I had. This should be a bit better. Okay. I'm going to pause the video and try it. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. There's our barn star. So, uh, Susan, I hope this is what you were looking for. And uh, that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. And uh, if you think it's cool, please subscribe. And I'd love to see you guys again. Thanks. Bye.